Welcome guys, my name is Albert, thank you for joining me today. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the one thing that you can say to every woman that will turn her on. Okay, so if you have not already, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. Because on this channel, I teach you guys how to become better men and how to improve your interactions with women, okay? So, let's jump right into it. Guys, what is the best time when it comes with interacting with women, what is the best kind of relationship you could have with a woman? Do you have that answer? It's a non-committal relationship. Exactly. When a relationship is not exclusive between you and a woman, that is the best you are going to get from a woman, right? Because a lot of guys, they make the mistake of trying to lock down a woman too soon. They try to lock her down too soon. They're having fun with a woman. They've been going out for the past three weeks and everything is great. She's giving you the best head. She's giving you the best sex. She's being on her best behavior, right? You're like, man, this is the best girl I've ever been with. This is the best girl I've ever been with. This is awesome. I got to lock this down before somebody steals her from me, right? And here's the thing. If you do that, that would be the wrong thing to do. Because what happens then? Right, because a lot of girls, a lot of girls have this dream of meeting their Prince Charming. That guy that's gonna sweep them off their feet, right? Sweep them off their feet. So they wanna be on their best behavior when they meet that guy. So when they're dating guys, they're on their best behavior. But once she locks that guy down, that's when she starts giving up her best qualities, right? She's she doesn't pay attention to her weight. She starts being disrespectful. She starts taking you for granted. Why? Because you committed too fast. And here's the thing, guys. You have to remember one thing. You have to remember one thing. Girls are the keepers of sex, and we as men are the keepers of relationships. So you have to understand this, right? But here's the thing. Here is how it usually goes, right, in most parts. A guy starts going out with a girl, a girl starts going out with a guy, they're having a great time, everything is great, and the guy starts saying, hey, you know what, I want us to be exclusive, and all of a sudden she starts to pull away. Why? Why does she pull away? Because this turns women off. When a guy starts trying to get her into a relationship too fast, that turns her off. Why? Because it makes her think. Wait a minute, why does this guy want to lock me down so fast? Usually, guys are out here smashing girls all the time. So why is it that this guy just wants to lock me down? And it starts, the gears in her head starts turning and, and, and it kind of signals to her, oh, maybe the reason why he wants to lock me down is because he's desperate. Maybe it means that he's needy. Maybe it means that he has no value in the real world and he has no other options and he just he finally got with me and he wants to lock me down before I realize that he's of low stock of that he's of low value right because a high value man is just not going to accept anyone right she's the one that has to be fighting to get you committed it has to be a challenge for her to get you committed. If she didn't work for you to be committed, she's not going to value it. She's going to be disrespectful when she's not in a relationship with you, right? You wanna be in a situation where a woman is vying to be your girlfriend. She is vying to be your future wife. A woman will ask you questions like, so what are you looking for? A simple, innocuous question. A very simple question. But this is the part that most guys fail. Because they think, oh, it's a simple question. She, she just wants to know what I'm looking for. But this one question gives her her answer and lets her know what kind of man you are. And if you answer this question wrong, it turns her off. And if you answer it right, it will turn her on. And most guys fail in this situation. A girl asks you, what are you looking for? 
Most guys would be like, you know what? I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm kind of looking for a girlfriend. I want to get married in the next one year. Ooh, you just shot yourself in the foot. You just dried her up. Literally dried her up. Because you're thinking, oh, you know what? I need to be honest. Well, here's the thing. That's why you will push her away. That's why she won't return your calls because that just came sub communicated to her that you are super needy. If you want to turn a woman on when she asks you what you are looking for, your answer should be, you know what? I'm just dating casually right now. But if the right woman comes along, I may be open for a serious relationship. You saw what that was? You're dating casually right now, but if the right woman comes along, you will be open to a relationship. This statement you just told her, you are being super vague, but you dangled the carrot far enough, but not too far, where it's like, you know what, you let her know that you are actually selective because in her mind, she knows the kind of guys that she's attracted to will always be selective. So when you say this, it shows her and tells her that you are a selective man. When she's chasing for your commitment, she's going to be in a very respectful frame. She's going to treat you with respect. She's going to give you the best sex that you've had. She's going to give you less drama. Keyword, less drama. I never said no drama because there's always drama. Trust me, there's always drama. But not as much as if you just commit too soon. You know, you let her know, hey, look, I'm rooting for you, but management, hey, look, you know, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna keep a file on you. You know, I always keep a file. So, you know, I, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. I'm not saying that you got the job, but I am rooting for you. So, keep keep on your p's and q's. Now, obviously, you don't say that, but when you say you're dating casually, and if the right woman comes along, that's what basically you just sub communicated to her. You let her know. Sub, you sub-communicated to her like, hey, look, I have performance reviews every year at the end of the year. And if I pull up your file and there has been too much nonsense going on, then you're going to get kicked out. Hey, once again, it's not me. It's upper management. You know, obviously upper management is you. All right? So you don't want to commit too early. You want to be in non-committal relationships with women. You want to have multiple women and you want to tell them this. Because they, that is when you're going to get the best out of your women. Because once you lock them down, then that's when the nonsense starts. That's when the drama starts. That's when the disrespectfulness starts. Because they feel like now they possess you and now they own you. And now you belong to them and they feel that you can't get anything better because they were so easily able to lock you down. And that's the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, you 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 dried her up in the beginning and she left. That's best case scenario. At least she didn't use you. Right? Finally, sometimes girls will have follow-up questions. They will add they may ask you, what are you looking for in a girl? Now this is another, this is another, this is another qualifica uh, qualification question that she will want to Put on you, but you have to frame it in such a way that she, it's up to her to make sure that she's the right one, right? That she fits into your qualifications. Let me ask you, what kind of girls are you looking for? What kind of girl would meet you, would be the right woman for you? That's when you let her know. Hey, look, you know what? I'm pretty selective, honestly, when it comes to a, a woman that I commit to. Um, you know, she has to have goals in her life. She has to, she has to be respectful. She has to love animals, because I love animals. She has to know how to cook. She has to be in shape. Or at least know how to take care of herself. Here's the thing. You think about things that are meaningful to you. 
So when she asks you this, you just don't go, well, uh, any girl is fine, I guess. No, you have to show some sort of selectivity in your life. High value male of, males are very selective. And this is what you subcommunicate to her. Okay, guys? Guys, that is how you turn, on, turn a woman on, right? That is what you say to turn her on. You let her know that you're dating casually and that if the right woman comes along, then you may be open to an open relationship. Then you may be open to a relationship, right? And that turns a woman on. Okay, guys? Guys, I hope you guys have seen value in that. That is the video for today. I'll see you guys on the next one, okay? Peace.